My name is Kaylee, also known as Blossom, and I'm 12 years old. My name is Anaya, better known as Yanni, and I'm 14. Hey y'all, I'm Sanaya, aka Nai Nai, and I'm 12 years old. Hey, my name is Kamaya, better known as Lil Boss Lady, and I'm 12. Hey y'all, my name is Jeriana, better known as Tutu, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Dominique, well known as Nick Nick, and I am 13 years old. Hi, I'm Diane, better known as Bella Beastie, and I'm 13. I got the name Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls, which is the main character, Blossom. I got the name Yanni from my middle name. I got the name Nai Nai from my name Sanaya, but my family called me Tutu. Yeah, Tutu. I'm a swag girl, I love you. <laughs> I got my name from when I used to dance with another crew. I got my name Tutu from my grandma. I got my name from Dominique. And my whole family calls me that since I was a baby. I got the name Bella Beastie for my sister. Because she said when I was a baby, I was too much. And she named me that because I'm pretty. That's what Bella stands for. And when I dance, I'm a beast. I was born in is Los Angeles, California. I was born in Bellflower, California. I was born in Los Angeles, California. I was born in Los Angeles. I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. Of course, LA. I was born in Los Angeles, California. So when people see me dancing, what they say about my style, one thing they think about my style is I'm just raw. That's just how I get in. When people see me dance, one thing they say is that I bang hard. When people see me dance, they say that I'm sassy and confident. When people see me dance, they say about my style, they say my style is aggressive. Like, Oh, when I'm just standing there, she's like a shy little girl, but when she gets on the floor, it's a whole nother person. When people see me dance, one thing they say about my style is that it's hood and ghetto, but I bring a lot of energy. When people see me dance, one thing they say about my style is I'm a bully. When I'm on the dance floor, I'm not to be messed with. One positive thing people say about my dancing is how do I do all this crazy stuff like flipping and my glasses stay on my face. One positive thing people say about my dancing is when I hop out, I'm always happy. One positive thing that people say about me and my dancing is that I'm unique. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, is that I'm unique and I make a lot of little girls smile. One positive thing people say about my dancing is that I'm very energetic and I keep the crown going. One positive thing they say when I'm dancing is that I go zero to 100. I just turn all the way up. I mean, that's just me. One thing they say that's positive about my dancing is when I hop out, I always make the birthday kid feel special by going up and dancing. One negative thing people say about my dancing? One negative thing people say about my dancing. One negative thing that people say about my dancing. One negative thing people say about my dancing. One negative thing people say about my dancing. One negative thing people say about my dancing is that I twerk too much. It is, of course, I twerk too much, which I do. Like, I'm too wild. <laughs> is when I battle, I need to stay out of people's face. Is, um, that I split too much. I'm never like, give facial expression, I always do this. My response to that is, mm, I don't care. Okay. Is, what is this nerd gonna do? Or what is this little girl gonna do right here after she's been sitting here quiet the whole time? And my response to that is that I have fun and I just like to dance. But I don't care, cause that's my style. And they also be like, the girl with the glasses. I would say my biggest supporters are my clown sisters and my whole T-Squad family and my mom and my sister, because they're always there when I need some. My response to that is, as long as I keep the crowd going, then it's okay. So I don't care. My response to that is, don't better me if you're not ready, little baby. Like for real, I don't care. My biggest supporters is my mom, my sister, and my brother. My biggest supporters are my mom, my dad, and my grandma, because even though my grandma don't always be here, she always says she sees me in videos and she loves the way that I dance. My biggest supporter is my mom, my cousin, and my dad. My mom is my, big, my biggest supporter because everything I need for dancing, she'll be right there, and if I need to do audition, she's there for me, do everything. They're my biggest supporters because they always uplift me when I'm down and they always at all my shows and they, you know, I just love them, like, you know, thanks.
My biggest supporter will be my mommy because they keep me motivated and they give me the stuff that I need. My biggest supporters are, yes, my fans. But to be honest, it's my grandmother. She loves talking about me then. She brags about me all day and all night to her friends. Hey, Grandma. And my fans. Because she helps me with a lot of things, even when she tried to give me dance moves, but they look really retarded. <laughs> I still take them. What inspired me to dance? What inspired me to dance? What inspired me to dance? Uh, who inspired me to dance is my best friend, Sanaya, because she always used to make it look really fun to hop out. What inspired me to dance was? What inspired me to dance is how when I was little, I was always in the living room dancing to some type of music. It was the movie Rock. And then so I got on YouTube one day. It was YouTube. What inspired me to dance was I see other kids and stuff dancing my age and inspired me, like, because I can do it. I was good at it. And I went for it. I seen on YouTube. They asked my mom to take me to Debbie Allen to go try out, and I made it, and I went viral. I watched Tommy Clown all the time. I liked to dance when I was little, so then my mom and dad took me to this dance class, hip hop, and I had saw Tommy the Clown pop up, and so I would just watch the videos, and then I was in the house dancing, and then, so my mom just told me. And then that's when I start seeing Tommy, and I'm like, I like the way they dance. So I want to join them. And just inspired me. Why don't you just go to the tryouts and try out? And then that's how I just started dancing. It's because when I first saw it, I was little. Mom used to take me like, to battle zones and stuff. But I really didn't think I used to know how to dance. But I do. In the Princess of LA, I stood out to Tommy. Like I was on my P's and Q's and really was going in. And Tommy liked it and I worked my way up to the squad. A move that everybody of course know me for is doing a flip. My trademark dance moves is the tippy toe and everybody knows me as that. One dance move that I'm going for is twerking, like I'm a twerk queen. So my trademark dance move, well I got two of them so. I walk on my tippy toes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm known for my facial expressions. Like, I just might give you one of these. It's either my ballerina twist or my flips. The trademark move that people know me for is like this. Like a handspring, a tuck, or something different. Quick throw split. Like, I could be right here and just throw myself over here to a split. I don't know, it's just, that's how I split. Well, the Get Off is a turned up hood dance that went popular in LA and a lot of teenagers do it. And it's like really nothing. You just do crazy stuff. <laughs> One of the clowns from Little Crew that I would say is the loudest is Bella. From the Little Crew, the loudest one I could say is Bella. The loudest from Little Crew is Nick Nick and Bella. Because she is always loud and always yelling and always saying something extra now. Because she yaps a lot and she's loud. Ning Ning and Bella is loud because they just like ghetto. Like, I say hi to them. Hi! <laughs> like, they just loud. Bella and Ning Ning. Hmm, the loudest from Little Crew. I would have to give it to Little Boss Lady and Bella. Oh, she is the loudest because it's like, well, we, we can be talking low and then she'll get like an idea and then she'll just scream it out like, yeah. <laughs> the loudest little crew member is Little Boss Lady. From the little crew, I feel like the loudest is Nick Nick. Y'all are so loud. Be quiet sometimes. Like, that's it, hands down. <laughs> she always talking about somebody, like, girl, come on. I know probably some of y'all said that I was the loudest, but it's okay. Fine with that. I could be loud. Um, my favorite clown dancers that I would say before I started dancing, I would say Nye, Danny, Tutu, and Mickey because they just, like, when I used to watch the hop outs, they would just come out. And I like splitting sometimes too. And so when I saw Mickey, I was like, I like that person. Before I started dancing for T Squad, my favorite clown was Tutu because she was like one of the little ones. And I just like the way she danced. 
one of the clowns that was my favorite clowns is Danny because she was like the only girl that I saw really out here dancing for time before me. My favorite clown dancers before I ever like started dancing, I had to say it was BG and Tutu. Before I was dancing, I didn't really have a favorite clown. My favorite was everyone because I liked the way everybody danced. Because VZ, he was just like always the best dancer to me. And Tutu, she reminded me like, like I can dance like girl style and all that. Um, a clown from the little crew I could talk to the most would be Nai Nai because I knew her the longest and we click a lot. I can talk to mostly, like the one is trustworthy, I would say Sanaya because I go to her for a lot of stuff. Nai, because like we have a close bond. And I've known her, known her for a while because we cheer together. The clown from Little Crew that I could talk to the most is Nai Nai because that is my best friend. And when I started dancing, she helped me like get through some stuff because I'll be kind of scared. And that's something like my sister. Because she always listens to me and is always there for me when I need her. The one I can talk to the most, I have to say it was Nick Nick because I can tell her anything. One of the clowns on Lil Crew that I would say is most annoying is Bella. Most annoying from Lil Crew is Lil Bossa. Like, stop touching me. Like, she always touching people. Like, leave me alone. The little crew clown that is the most annoying is Little Boss Lady. The one that's most annoying, I have to say again, is Bella. Because she always says something that she shouldn't say and like does stuff that's really extra now. Is because sometimes she'll have a huge attitude towards you or like if you like kind of correct her on something, she'll kind of, she'll think you're coming off mad at her or something and she'll just bite back at you. Most annoying to me is Bella because you know she be in my ear a lot. So. Because it's just stuff she do that really gets under my skin and makes me want to scream at her. But I have to ease it down a little bit. A positive thing I can say about the little crew is one positive thing about the whole little crew is that everybody is nice to each other at times because we're all sisters and we always have each other's back. One positive thing about Yanni, which is my best friend, is that she always there for me, like, she always looking out for me. So, that's why I call her my best friend. One thing positive I gotta say about Lil' Crew member, it's about Blossom. Like, she, just cause she quiet, that don't mean she, she don't got stuff to say, but everything that comes out of her mouth is positive to me. One positive thing about Blossom is... A positive thing I could say about a Lil' Crew member is Blossom. Is that she's really sweet and she doesn't really have a smart mouth when it comes to us. Blossom, she's quiet and she's like, she states herself and like, she's not annoying. Like, she don't really argue with anyone. Yeah. We of course all love each other and we have each other's backs through anything. One negative thing about the little crew as a whole and that they could change is their attitude and their smart mouths. Um, a negative vibe from the little crew. One negative thing about little crew. The thing about the little crew that can be changed is that we all usually have attitudes. One thing I can say about my little crew sisters is like we can have this division at times and we don't always get along, but it can be changed because at the end of the day, we're still sisters. That could be easily changed. One thing that little crew as a whole needs to change. I would say is how if someone gets mad at the other person, they would go to somebody and start talking about them. It's our mouth and our attitude because if somebody get under our skin, we'll clap back. But it can be changed because, you know, like these are these sisters and stuff. Is that we argue too much. Like we stay arguing, so we go fix that though. But we could easily change that and just come together and like talk it throughout and just get over the problem. I really do think that Nai Nai does a good job as team captain. Nai Nai does a great job as being little crew captain. Nai Nai does do a good job as the little crew captain. I think Nai Nai does do a good job as the team captain. Nai Nai does do a good job as team captain. She keeps everybody in line, I should say. Because she keeps us all together even when like, we're separated. Like She's a good team captain. She tells us what to do and what not to do. We all come off sharp and neatly. And if we do something wrong, she'll put us in check. And in the car, she'll tell us to do a few things. And personally, I ask her if I should do something when I hop out, and she'll tell me like, yes, or no, that's a little bit too much. And she's always nice to everybody at times. 
I was the captain of the little crew, and my job is to make sure they do what they're supposed to do at the parties and this is Tommy. My relationship with Tutu. My relationship with Tutu. Um, me and Tutu, our relationship is is good. We we teach us each each oh we gotta do this again. <laughs> my relationship with Tutu is that we teach us to like big sister and little sister. Like we tell each other everything. I go to her house and stuff, you know. We close. Is we don't talk like a lot a lot because she's like kinda like big crew. It's good. Sometimes we make it into it. My relationship with Tutu is like, that's like my second best friend. My relationship with Tutu is she's like a big sister to me, and I could tell her anything, and I could always ask her questions about future things. But that's still my sister, and she's there when I need her. Out of the crew, because like, I knew her for the longest. Like, we and her have been here since the beginning, so. But I think... We, we bond like when we're together, we'll say hi to each other, give hugs, or if like I come out of my shell some type of way, then she'll like hype me up at the end and she'll give me a hug and stuff. We're sisters on the rise, T squad of the eye. Sisters on the rise, T squad of the eye. We're sisters on the rise, T squad of the eye. Sisters on the rise, T squad of the eye. We're sisters on the rise. T squad up though. Ah. We're sisters on the rise. T squad up though. Ah.